it's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. Several weeks ago, a good friend of mine sent me an historic chart of the stock market over the last 100 years. Now, on the peak of each new high on the chart was inscribed with the words, this is the top. Of course, it was never the top as market highs of each decade was exceeded in the subsequent decade. And once again this week, the Dow set a new record high at 28,090. Once again, investors are suffering the time-honored malaise of fear of heights. And I'm sure someone somewhere is noting on that 100-year chart that this is the top. Maybe even saying, hey, I'm really serious this time. It really is the top. Well, good luck with that. The good news is index levels don't predict tops or even bear markets, nor does any one indicator. According to one Wall Street strategist, there are four of many reasons to continue to be bullish. First is inflation. Inflationary pressure today remains mostly muted. The second reason is credit. Now, banks often tighten credit conditions early in bear markets, but that isn't the case today. The third reason is politics, in particular, the presidential cycle. Bear markets historically happen in the first two years of a presidency. We are, of course, in the third year of this president's term. Now, historically, after the midterm elections, the president's party almost always loses seats, frequently resulting in a do-nothing, gridlocked Congress. The result is less change and more clarity for business. And this is the case today. And of course, that bodes well for stocks. And the fourth reason is investor sentiment. Euphoric investor sentiment often accompanies stock market peaks. One way to measure investment sentiment is the use of margin debt. And today, margin debt is actually shrinking. One sign that expectations are not too exuberant. Now, according to the strategist, these are four of the many reasons the market probably isn't peaking. But, you know, as my mom would always say, from his lips to God's ears. Now, one problem that I am seeing with some of our newer clients is that they are concentrating their risk and reducing diversification in their portfolios, which I can assure you we are helping them to fix in a hurry. Chasing return is not a strategy, but a recipe for disaster. Remember the old adage, the only free lunch on Wall Street is a properly diversified, goal-based, asset-allocated portfolio. Now, come on, who doesn't love a free lunch? Now, if you're sitting there wondering, Am I properly diversified? Do I have a portfolio that's appropriate to my risk tolerance, to my goals? Is my portfolio suffering from concentrated risk and vulnerable to the next big market correction? Well, why sit there and wonder when you could know? Give us a call or simply text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or you can simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844 844- P-L-A-N-N-Y-C. Hey, this is Bob Payne, and I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.